sometimes I wish this bitch would just fly, man. All right, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm just gonna see if I can get refreshed on my uh, here whole willies or whatever the hell. See if I can get re refreshed on my willies. I do feel like I have a problem with my rear brake, so don't know how that's gonna go for me. It just kind of feels a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't feel right though. I know that. Will also be the first time I've done wheelies since I decided to blow my arm out of socket. Again, I kind of just took it slow after that. Didn't want to re-injure my shit. Also, just tighten up my chain, so I'm gonna try to uh, keep an eye on my axle bolt down there. Make sure we don't have any loose screws or bolts or anything like that. Been trying to keep a heavy eye on that. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I know it happened on my dirt bike. The uh, bolt, I even, I, I believe I put Loctite on it too. I noticed that it was coming looser and looser by the fucking minute. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's probably what's got me checking it out, being so paranoid about it. Really do not feel like uh, losing my back tire going 60 miles in the hell, any miles per hour, honestly. I think I'm gonna check out this road that I've never been down before. Another unexplored little road here. Septic system repairs. Yeah, my wheelies definitely need some more uh, refreshment because this, this is uh, kind of ass. I've never been down this road before, so I gotta watch out for loose dogs, which is very common here. And we're not talking about little dogs neither. We're talking about mostly pit bulls, uh, German shepherds, you know, big, just big ass dogs, big mean dogs. Okay, I take that back. I, I'm I, I'm a pit bull owner. Okay, I think. She's she's mixed. She's a mixed breed dog. Uh, they're not mean, but some can be mean. It just depends. And you damn sure don't want those big hefty motherfuckers running out in front of you and on the ground. Yeah, it's not a, it's not really ideal. Not really the ideal situation you want. I do know that one day I was riding down one random road and I found like this little monument and it was a wishing well or, or something. I don't know. It was a historical wishing well and that was pretty cool to find. So I guess you'll never know what you'll find on these random roads that you may take on a ride or whatnot. But uh, as long as it's not animals, then I'm good. Some old couches thrown off in the woods. Look like a whole bunch of shit thrown off in the woods. Also, I want to talk about this thing that I seen that popped up online. It was a Eco or Ego, some some damn lawnmower company or something. Uh, Ego. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they are. An Ego. I think they're okay. They're a power tool brand, basically, is what they are. An all electric um, lawnmowers and stuff like that. And I believe the company's name is Ego not gonna lie i tried to reach out to them about their product uh that's soon to be releasing but you know i'm not gonna get a response so anyway this um company ego is making a mini bike that looks a lot similar to the first generation groms um and it's gonna be powered by like a singular dewalt battery pack if you, you know, I mean, that's the closest thing that I can think of. Like a Dewalt battery pack. So, it's going to be powered by, you know, like, again, a, a drills battery pack or a saws battery pack or whatnot. The 
company has it listed as a mini bike, but to me it kind of looks like a Grom, honestly, uh, about the size of one. Um, I mean, from the looks of the tires and the rims and really the whole stature of the bike, it really does look like a Grom size, you know, and, and I think it promises a top speed of up to 28 miles per hour, which is pretty crazy seeing as it is just running off of one small little battery pack. Um, one thing they did not put in that sector is a range. I'm guessing this is not an actual street legal motorcycle. Busy day with all these trucks. Hard ass drop. Even though the wheelies are pretty half-ass, uh, they're not as bad as I expected them to be. The chain, chain tighten. It has everything to do with something going on with this goddamn brake. I don't think that it is getting stuck by any means, but something is not right. Yeah, it's not getting stuck. It'd be burning, burning hell hot. It'd be burning hell hot if it was getting stuck. Just something doesn't feel right about it, though. While I'm sitting here thinking, saying that something doesn't feel right about it, I believe that there might be an air bubble or something in the gas, gas line, in the brake line, something, yeah, something, I don't know, something like an air bubble, maybe? Hell, I don't know. Ignore the absolute mess. Just ignore the mess. The mess is not there. I believe it has now been three months since we last seen this dirt bike here i've been trying to get rid of it i'm not gonna lie um maybe because it's just not in my best interest to be doing crazy uh off-road shit um like i've been doing uh the track out there is pretty grown up now um just haven't really been able to keep up on the maintenance of it uh i i, I don't know but yeah i haven't forgot about the drz i'm not gonna lie thought about um loading it up on the truck the other day riding those crazy hills and trails and stuff back there um i don't know Y'all let me know what y'all want to see. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all for this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and uh, do all that. And uh, yeah. Also, join the Discord. We're always talking there. Especially about them damn electric bikes. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.